Welcome to the simulation environment. And um, before we start with simulation, I want to tell you a little bit on what we're going to be taking in this specific section. So the simulation environment, as the name implies, is where the simulation takes place. So now that we have the physical property environment all fixed up, it's time to start working with the flow sheet, which is the area in which we're going to be adding all the streams, all the unit operations, and so on. And then we want to learn about the input data of the unit operations. So the main problem I see in real life scenarios is that you don't know which unit operation or which block you're going to be using in Aspen. So for instance, you see a distillation column. There are literally about three, four or five ways in which you could be modeling that distillation column. So you as engineer, you need to connect that part the part in which you know the process or what unit operations you have in Aspen Plus and the part of real life. You have this distillation column and what do you want to do? And depending on those two things, you're going to try to connect and see which block is the most convenient one for you. So that, I think that's the most difficult part as an engineer. And the ones that you have that figured out is very easily, it's very straightforward because you will be changing the input of that block. So for instance, the heater, we have several types of heating units. And if you're only worried about a heat exchange, you don't care how you're going to be doing it. You just want to know the amounts or the heat duty. Then I will recommend you the so-called block heater. But if you're worried about how many tubes you're going to be using, what type of shell, uh, what is the recommended, uh, area and so on, then definitely heater will not be good enough. You will need to go to the following one, which is the heat exchanger. So that's why I'm telling you, depending on what do you want to simulate, depending the block. So right now I'm going to be giving you the blocks on how to simulate it, but I want you to figure out what will happen if I want to add this block and do it as a homework. But right now I'm going to show you directly how it's done for a simple process. And the idea is that you want to uh, simulate more and do it by yourself. So once again, welcome to the simulation environment and let's start our simulation. 